Hello, Lions. This is your aquatics video helper for your water pollution um, project that you're going to be working on. So if you go to readylibrary.com and click on aquatics water pollution, the link to the Mac and Via group is here, and this video will be linked here and embedded down here. The link to the Mac and Via group is also going to take you to your assignment sheet, which I think is going to be in your Canvas. So um, I'm going to be covering these three steps right here, your research steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of this high school notes research document. This is where you're going to keep your information for this project and I believe you may be turning this into your teacher um, when you are finished with it um, as a progress check. So what you're going to do here is um, obviously if you're doing a project on water pollution you're probably choosing a particular body of water. Let's come over here and look. Um, so you're going to create an infographic or an interactive poster um, to be presented to your neighborhood school, city government, etc. So you must uh, describe what type of pollutants are being deposited, where are the pollutants coming from, what are the effects on the environment and wildlife, etc. So you're going to be looking for um, information about water pollution uh, for this project. So like I said, you're going to have this document here. So you may want to do like creek water pollution or, um, you know, aquifer water pollution or whatever the type of water pollution it is will go here. And then in these boxes will be additional words that you come up with because you'll see in a minute when we go and search in our resources, we can't type in whole sentences or questions into the databases that you're going to be using. So you're going to need to identify what words and short phrases, short phrases being two to three words at most, are you going to be putting in here to search for resources and information. So you are going to then put your sources, your citations in here, and then you're going to copy and paste information from the resource directly into here. That way your teacher can see what the information looks like when you grabbed it from the source. Then you're going to be um, saying what is important about this quote and then paraphrasing it over here into your own words. These two pieces of information are what's going to go directly into your project unless you are quoting the project or, or quoting the information and then you can use this information. But these two boxes will help you avoid plagiarism. The other thing you're going to have to do is put together a references sheet down here. And so this is where you're going to be putting all of your sources. The information that you put in these boxes will go down here. You'll delete out this example, make sure they're in alphabetical order, check this list down here, delete out this box. And this is what you're going to be collecting all of your information on for this project. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, and so that is the first step. You're going to make one of those documents. Then you're going to go into the Mac and Via group here. And the instructions are right here. This assignment sheet is here. And then you have some other resources in here. This document is uh, just about using sources with academic integrity. If you have questions about how do I use this information, how do I paraphrase, uh, what are acceptable and unacceptable practices according to FISD's academic ethics so you don't get in trouble for academic dishonesty. All of that information is available for you right there. The other thing we have over here are the types of sources. If your teacher wants you to have different types of sources, you can see what some of the different types of sources are in our uh, databases and what how they're used um, and then in what places you can find those types of sources. So that document is, these two documents are just helper documents. This is just um, a link to open your Google Drive if you're storing things and keeping things in your Google Drive. Um, the primary sources you're going to be using for this particular assignment are going to be our Gale Environmental Studies and our Gale Science. So I'm going to click up, click open this Environmental Studies link right here. And I'm going to put in I'm going to first, actually, I'm going to come over here to browse issues and I'm going to see what types of um, what types of things are already listed over here in our um, topic uh, issues. So these are topics that um, Gail has already put together for us. Um, and so you'll see here, here's a water one, here's a water pollution. Uh, maybe you know exactly the type of water pollution that you are looking for, and you can look to see if that, you know, maybe you're looking for drinking water or something else. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this water pollution because what this is going to do is it's going to take me into an entire topic center that Gail has already put together on water pollution. So the first thing you're going to see right here is this overview. This overview is going to 
do just that. It's going to give you an overview of this topic, which is water pollution. So you'll see here we've got pollutants, we've got the sources they come from and the effects, which is definitely something that you're looking at. You'll notice over here, we've got more like this. So you can explore um, these articles. You can view all related articles right here by clicking this. So it's gonna give you all of these additional uh, articles that are gonna be helpful for you. Um, and then we're gonna scroll back up. Uh, and then also you'll see related objects over here. So we've got um, water pollution control, hazardous waste, um, salinity, we've got uh, waterborne infections. So we've got some other topics over here that may relate to what you're doing. And then in here we've got some uh, items too. So anything that's, this is like a hyperlink. And so it's going to give you an article related to sludge. This is going to give you an article related to contamination, uh, sewage treatment. So you can click on any of these for additional articles as well. So this overview is going to have tons of information in it that you can use. Um, you can use this article. This is a this is a great article to use, and it's also going to give you additional information. So we're going to click on this APA. This is what you would put over here in your notes document as your citation, where it says source citation. You would go ahead and plug that in to your document. We're going to go back over here to the water pollution uh, topic, and then you'll notice here we've got 59 case studies on water pollution. One of these may be very helpful for your project. Um, and then over here we have reference articles on water pollution videos. You're probably going to be using the case studies, the reference, the videos, maybe the magazines, possibly the websites, maybe the news. Definitely you'll probably want to look at the images and use those. So I'm just going to um, I'm just going to click on one of these so you can see again it's the same process as that overview article for citing it. So let's say if I want to um, let's say I want to choose um, this case study. I would click on it and again to cite this article I would come up here to cite and use uh, the APA citation right here for my document and then I would go in and start gathering notes and again all the same things. You have more articles, related topics, you can click on these words, um, lots of different things you can do here. You can change your display options as well if you want the print bigger or smaller. You can save this article to your Google Drive, you can download it to your Chromebook or computer. Um, all of that information is there. Another thing you can do is grab these images. If you need images for this project, I'm pretty sure you do. Um, if you wanted to use any of these images, you could, like let's say you wanna use this image right here, then you would click on it. And again, you're going to click on site and then click to APA. And then this is how you would cite this image. And you will need this citation in your project for all images that you use from our databases. So make sure you um, include that. So probably for this assignment, you could get everything you need from this overview article and maybe one or two other sources in here if, um, you know, if that is, and, and that would probably cover it for this project. We can also go over here to the uh, science database and see what it has. Again, we can browse the topics and see if there's anything on water pollution. Again, if you if you know a specific type of water pollution that you're looking at, you can see if that is already in here. Again, we have water pollution. Um, and so again, we have very, uh, the same sort of setup that we had over in the other one, just fewer resources because that other one has resources more specific to environmental issues. So your featured content here, your overview, those are going to be helpful. Again, probably your reference, your images, possibly your news, magazines, maybe experiments. Um, and so this is going to be a great uh, another great backup resource if the first one doesn't work out. We also have this um, ebook in here that is Encyclopedia of Environmental Issues, and this one is dedicated directly to water and water pollution. So again, uh, if you want to use this resource, you would uh, go ahead and open it and wait for it to open. And then you can uh, find out what's in this issue. There's a table of contents here, but there's also the index and a really uh, good way to figure out what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for information on Blackwater is to go to the index, click on that, and then it's gonna take you directly to that portion of the ebook where you can access information about um, that particular um, 
that particular topic. And then if you're going to use information from this ebook, you're going to click cite and you're going to grab this APA citation right here and put it in your notes. So those are the resources you have to use. Um, because you have the options down here of using Canva or Genially, Ms. Stroot has linked them down here, but if you've already got your Mac and Via open, I went ahead and included them in here. So this is just a link to Canva. This is just a link to Genially that you can use. The last thing I want to show you is Britannica Image Quest. So whenever you come in here, you're going to just type in water pollution. And this database is strictly images. So again, you have 5,000 images on water pollution. We are not going to allow you to go out to Google and grab whatever images you want. You're going to be restricted to using the images that we have the express um, permission of the copyright holders to use. Um, so if you find uh, an image in here that you want to use, let's say you want this industrial water pollution one, again, you're going to grab this um, citation, change it to APA, and then copy this information into your uh, sheet and um, and then you can download the image uh, so you can download it here um, and then use it in your project all right lions I hope this is helpful for your aquatics water pollution um, project that you're getting to work on if you have any questions or you need anything along the way please feel free to reach out to me Lambert in at friscoisd.org and good luck